Hi, my name is Alyssa Paul, and this piece is Daddy by Sylvia Plath. And my response is also entitled Daddy, and it is dedicated to my mommy. You do not do, you do not do any more black shoe in which I have lived like a foot for 30 years poor and white, barely daring to breathe or achoo. Daddy, I have had to kill you. You died before I had time, marble heavy, a bag full of God, ghastly statue with one gray toe, big as a Frisco seal and a head in the freakish Atlantic where it pours bean green over blue in the waters off beautiful Nosset. I used to pray to recover you, ach du. In the German tongue, in the Polish town, scraped flat by the roller of wars, wars, wars. But the name of the town is common. My Polak friend says there are a dozen or two. So I never could tell where you put your foot, your root. I never could talk to you, the tongue stuck in my jaw, it stuck in a barbed wire snare. Eek, 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 I could hardly speak. I thought every German was you and the language obscene. An engine, an engine, chuffing me off like a Jew. A Judah Dachau, Auschwitz, Belzen. I began to talk like a Jew. I think I may well be a Jew. The snows of the Tyrol, the clear beer of Vienna are not very pure or true. With my gypsy ancestress and my weird luck and my tear off pack and my tear off pack, I may be a bit of a Jew. I have always been scared of you with your Lutwaf, your gobbledygoo, and your neat mustache and your Aryan eye, bright blue, Panzer man, Panzer man, oh you. Not God, but a swastika, so black no sky could squeak through. Every woman adores a fascist, the boot in the face, the brute, brute heart like a brute like you. You stand at the blackboard, Daddy, in the picture I have of you, a cleft in your chin instead of your foot, but no less a devil for that, no, not any less the black man who bit my pretty red heart in two. I was 10 when they buried you. At 20, I tried to die and get back, back, back to you. I thought even the bones would do, but they pulled me out of the sack and they stuck me together with glue, and then I knew what to do. I made a model of you a man in black with a mind kemp look and a love of the rack and the screw. And I said, I do, I do. So daddy, I'm finally through. The black telephone's off at the root. The voices just can't worm through. If I've killed one man, I've killed two. The vampire who said he was you and drank my blood for a year, seven years if you wanna know daddy. You can lie back now. There's a stake in your fat black heart, and the villagers never liked you. They are dancing and stamping on you. They always knew it was you. Daddy, daddy, you bastard, I'm through. Did you miss something? When you signed up for the job, did you misunderstand that parenting is much more than the gift of your loins, the blood in my names, in the blood in my veins, your name on my birth certificate, or that I call you daddy? You had fatherhood laid out on a silver platter that I created in your honor. The innocence of an infant gave you the gift of my ignorance. You could have been great, daddy. You could have been my hero, my idea of perfection, the white picket fence open to my unlimited amount of affection. Couldn't you just have played pretend? I would have played along. I would have played house in your faraway palace with dogs like lions scratching at the door to greet me and let out a roar as I ran up the hill with my legs that did not yet carry your burden in their joints. I there was that Sunday that we sang about a stairway to a place I thought I was already at, heaven was your grisly beard, the smell of a car freshener, my double bunk beds, and that pier where I asked to see the ocean as you lifted me up on your shoulders. I forgot about mom, ran past the strangers, ignored the other women, denied your shaking, and completely, without a doubt, bestowed you with the gift of my love. 
something that cannot, that cannot be rescinded or ignored, as strong as the blood in my veins, as permanent as ink on paper, as long lasting as the name Daddy itself. Daddy, tell me a story like you used to with your thick voice and gentle tongue. Tell me what it's like to have a father, to come home to a man to pat you on the head and ask you about your day. Tell me about families to sit at dinner tables. Does it really happen every single night? I hear that you guys can get strict. Do you get mad when I come home too late? Must every boy shake hands and look you in the eye as I roll mine and sigh? Do they defend you, sit you down and talk about life, be there to hand me over and pronounce me a wife? Life has gotten me twisted up in its limbs. I'm not strong enough to go through this on my own. There is no man to shield me from the destruction. I am dying in need of resurrection. You are supposed to support, to be the wall that could never break, some sort of stability to my heartache. What do I have to do to make this go away? I can't sleep because all I see is you. I can't talk because everything I say is hiding you. I can't relax because I'm always trying to get rid of you. I'm half of a circle searching for completion. I thought I found you, but the two halves are from an entirely different hole. What do I have to do? I know that the answer doesn't lie in you. As for my love, you can keep the gift. But daddy, daddy, you bastard, I'm through. <laughs>